Will the M4 iPad Pro's bright tandem OLED display be enough for Oliver to hop on T OLED? This, this <laughs> harkens back. Well, there's two things here. First of all, you're looking at the iPad Pro, the M4 yes. iPad Pro for us. Secondly, uh, you recently bought a new TV. You'd filed an OLED. It wasn't bright enough for you. It didn't burn with the, the power of a thousand suns. So, <laughs> so you went L- LCD instead. But what do you reckon about Patrick's question? So I would say yes. Traditionally, the problem with OLED displays in television, televisions, is that you get high peak brightness, right? You can get to like 1400 nits, 1500 nits peak brightness. That's certainly achievable with like the latest generation of OLED panels. Uh, The problem is that in bright content, it really does pull back the brightness level. So those whites, which might've been 1400 nits before, are now like 200 nits or 300 nits. It's a very substantial reduction in the in the brightness level of those whites. Some people are not bothered by this. I personally am bothered by this. <laughs> now with the OLED displays and mobile devices, that tends to be less of an issue. People do not tend to be limiting the brightness level as much in like full screen white. And on the tandem OLED display on the iPad, that's even less the case than it is in any device I've ever looked at in the past. It can go to a thousand nits full screen white, which is pretty, pretty scorching. It can do 1600 nits in the highlights, HDR highlights. It looks very good. It's not the brightest display I've ever used. That would be the brightest display I've ever used, (laughs) but it is the brightest mobile display I've ever used. And I would probably say it's the best probably the best display I've ever used everything all considered like it's 120 Hertz, really low persistence, the brightness characteristics are just fantastic. Looks great. Viewing angles are very good. You know, what can you say? It's an OLED. You get perfect blocks. You get perfect control over every pixel. It looks awesome. So yeah, I would say that it is, uh, it is, it is enough. <laughs> it is enough for sure. Well, hell's just frozen over. The flying <laughs> pigs, a squadron of flying pigs is <laughs> flying by outside, but this is great news. Yeah. I mean, I like I like OLEDs a lot in, especially in devices that um, are a little bit smaller, like the yeah. the iPhone. I think they're a great fit for mobile devices. Uh, just then, in, in the televisions, I think to control the heat output, they do limit white levels quite a bit um, in more bright content. And I tend to like rather scorching white content <laughs> uh, for whatever reason. Where the best option really is an LCD television, a mini LED television for getting those super bright whites. But um, here, the brightness levels, are even even in full white content, are very, very good. 